ओके सो वेलकम विवेक राहुल ओके रश्मिता सौरभ श्री राजश्री जूही अच्युत ओके राहुल ओके सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव जॉइंड इन ओके सो लेट अस स्टार्ट टुडेस लेक्चर विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले बट बिफोर दैट सम स्मॉल अनाउंसमेंट्स ओके सो वी हैव द एचीवर्स सीरीज व्हिच इज हैपनिंग ऑन द बायजूस एग्जाम प्रेप ऐप सो डाउनलोड द ऐप एंड यू कैन अटेंड द लेक्चर्स फॉर फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट ओके फॉर योर अपकमिंग गेट एग्जाम ऑल्सो वी हैव अ वंडरफुल सेमिनार कमिंग अप how to ace gate with college and job many students have this doubt of how to ace gate with college or job okay and one of our very experienced faculty panindra sir will be taking this session on 27th of september 8 pm okay so you can also a good learners and sir teach fm and som on this channel okay we will do in the future okay so today's lecture is serving in the future we will take some lectures on fm1 so much so okay okay and we have a free ebook for all the students they can download it the link is in the description and also if you want to register for the free workshop that also you can do in the description okay so let us start today's lecture on your surveying and today we'll see what compass surveying okay compass surveying now first of all i want to tell something about what bearing something about what bearing now what is a bearing bearing is nothing but what it's an angle right be nothing but what it's an angle okay now we have two types of bearing for a particular line right that is what fore bearing yes and back bearing fore bearing and back bearing now what are these things let's see suppose we have a line a b this is the line what a b okay this is line a b so let me draw this line a b okay this is the line a b now when i say the for bearing what i will do for bearing for a line a b for bearing also known as what f b for bearing also what f b now this for bearing for this line a b will be taken at a will be taking the reading where at a and how will take how will take will draw a vertical line like this and from north to south will go what clockwise north to south clockwise so this is what the for bearing of a so this is suppose theta this is what this is the for bearing of a b okay for bearing of what a b now what is the back bearing the back bearing of your line ab i will be taking at what at location b okay like this this is what this angle will be what the back bearing of your line ab so if i ask you if i ask you that for bearing of ab is taken where what will be your answer where the for bearing is taken what will be your answer at a or b for bearing is taken where at a or at b please tell please write in the comment section the for bearing of ab is taken where at a or b at a yes so we are at a okay at a and it will be from a to b okay from a to b okay and back bearing of ab is taken at b so this is a basic thing which many of you might be knowing but still i repeated okay still i repeated right very nice now you see one interesting thing we'll see okay we know the things but still i am taking from basic suppose this is your theta and this is theta is your for bearing if this is theta this also is theta right yes alternate angles if this is theta this is also theta okay and you see and you see this is your back bearing can i say that your back bearing is nothing but in this case how much back be nothing but theta plus 180 ra it is theta plus 180 right this theta and this is what 180 yes so i can say the back bearing is equal to for bearing plus 180 so it is an important relationship okay 
and we should be knowing this that the difference between back bearing and forebearing is what is your 180 degree okay and if forebearing is less than 180 degree okay then i will say that back bearing is forebearing plus 180 okay the difference is 180 and if forebearing is greater than 180 then what will happen the back bearing will be equal to your forebearing minus 180 degree for example for example if i say for example if i say that forebearing is 132 degree what will be your back bearing please write in the comment section if suppose I'm telling forebearing is 132 degree, what will be your back bearing? Please write in the comment section. Yes, it is 312. How? It is less than 180, so 180 plus your 132 giving how much? 312 degree. Very good. Let us see. If I tell, if I tell that your back bearing is, suppose I tell back bearing is 79 degree and 32 minute. Okay. Now 1 degree is how much minute? Third, 60 minute, right? 1 degree is 60 minute, right? Okay. This is minute. Okay. So what will be your forbearing? Tell me. What will be your forbearing? Tell me. Come on. What will be your forbearing? Come on, tell me. Today my face will be little, looking a little brightened. The lights are a little high. <laughs> How much are you getting this value? Forbearing? I will just add. I will just add 180. I will just add 180. The difference between forbearing and back bearing is always 180. Okay. So it will be just 180 plus 79 degree 32. So how much? 259 degree and 32. Okay. So I can summarize telling that if your forbearing is less than 180, how you find out back bearing? It is forbearing plus 180. Okay. And if your forbearing is greater than 180, then how I get the back bearing? It is your forbearing minus 180. And same rule is applicable that if your back bearing is less than 180, then forbearing will be equal to how much? Back bearing plus 180. And if your back bearing is greater than 180, then your forbearing will be equal to your back bearing minus 180. Means what? The difference will always be 180. Everybody understood this relationship between what? Your forbearing and back bearing. And suppose it is written bearing. Suppose it is written bearing. So that indicates what? Forbearing only. If in the question it is mentioned what? Bearing that indicates what? Your forbearing only. Okay, so with this understanding, let us solve some questions. Let us solve some questions. The first question is finding the included angle. The first type of question they ask in the examination is what? It is finding the included angle. Now, many formulas are there, but I don't prefer formulas. We can draw the diagram and from the diagram only, you will be able to solve. So let me solve this question for you and then you will solve the next question. What is written here? We have to find out the angle QOP. Now, the bearing means what? Nothing is mentioned means I will take that as forbearing, right? The forbearing of line OP is 18 degree 15 minutes. So what you do? How to draw this? First you take OP. So the forbearing, this bearing means what? 4. Nothing is mentioned, you assume 4. The forbearing of OP will be taken at O only, right? Yes. So what you do? How to find, how to draw this line? How to draw this line? Take this line north-south and then what? From north to south clockwise. Like this, right? North to south clockwise, right? 
This angle is how much? 18 degree 15 minutes. So this is hot. This is, I can say like this. It is 18 degree 15 minutes. Understood? This angle is how much? It is 18 degree 15 minutes. Okay. Somebody found out answer also. But I'll request that to wait for others also. Okay. Then OQ. What is written? And that of OQ is 335 degree 45 minutes. Again, I will take from north to south in clockwise direction and since it is the forbearing of OQ, it will be taken at only. So this angle, right? And this angle is how much written? 335 degree 45 minutes. Okay. So this line I can say, right? This line. And this is what? OQ. Everybody understood how I draw the two lines. If you draw the two lines, then you can easily find out the angle. Again, I will tell. Forbearing of OP will be taken at O. So, OP. Yes. And this angle is how much? This angle is your 18 degree, 15 minutes. And then the forbearing of OQ also will be taken at O only. Like this, how much angle? This is your 335 degree, 45 minutes, right? Now you can tell me what is the right answer to this. Now please, all of you solve and tell me what is the angle QOP. How to find out this angle QOP? Very easy. Please see the diagram and from there you can find out, right? You see, this is 18 degree, 15 minutes, right? Now you see from here to here, from here to here it is, see, from here to here, it is 335 degree, 45 minutes. So what will be this angle? This angle will be how much? Can I say this will be 360 minus, total will be 360, right? One whole rotation or revolution. So minus 335 degree, 45 minutes. Okay. This will give me how much? This will give me 24 degree, 15 minutes. Now you can add them up, right? this angle and this angle to get what? QOP. So, this is the right answer. So, now you can see that we can easily solve these questions without remembering any formula. By the basic understanding of things, you can easily remember this methodology to solve and find out the included angle. Okay? Next thing, next question, you will solve this for me. So, please solve this question for me. I'll wait for your answers. Please solve this question for me. Let us see who solved this question first. I am searching for something, but what I am searching, I don't know. So, by that time, you can solve. <laughs> Please solve. What is the right answer to this? A, Karthik is telling A, okay, others. Again, bearing means we lie down for bearing. <laughs> yes, Arthak. <laughs> what is the answer? Okay, Vivek is also telling A. Hmm. Survi also telling A. Hmm. Okay, others. Okay, so answer is A. Okay, yes. Yes, A, yes. You see, A, B. So, AB forbearing you will take at A only. Yes. So, this angle is how much? This AB. This AB, this angle is how much? It is 30 degree 15 minutes. Okay. 30 degree 15 minutes. Then BC. Okay. You see BC bearing, forbearing will take where? BC forbearing will take at B only, right? Yes. And it is 120 degree 30 minutes. And how to see? How to draw it? I always told what? North to south, clockwise. North to south, clockwise. You see? North to south, clockwise. Angle. Okay? So, this will be 120. Yes, this is what? 120 degree, 30 minutes. 120 degree, 30 minutes. So, this is what? BC. Now, once you draw these two, then now you can easily find out the angle. 
no need to remember any formula for these things so this will be how much this is alternate angle so same yes and this angle will be equal to i can say 180 minus 120 degree 30 minutes giving me how much 59 degree 30 minutes so angle abc angle abc will be how much just add both of them it is 89 degree 45 so such kind of question you can easily solve such kind of question you can easily solve okay now there are two types of bearing system or in which we can represent the angles one is your whole circle bearing okay where we are you know representing in what representing in the whole circle from 0 to what 0 to your 180 or 360 degree suppose we have a line like this and this angle is what suppose I am telling 60 degree yes suppose we have a line like this okay and suppose this angle is your 165 degree yes and suppose we have another angle like this or line like this and suppose this angle you are saying as suppose I am telling 205 degree or 215 degree 215 degree okay and suppose we have another line like this suppose I'll draw in red okay some people have this uh, favorite red on black okay so let me also try red on black okay so this is what this angle is what this angle is suppose I am telling 330 degree so here you can see that the angles are what in WCB the angles are what they are between what 0 to 360 degree they are what 0 to 360 degree now if we represent in what in your quadrants in quadrants okay now remember in quadrants bearing system qb in your quadrant bearing system in qb what is the methodology always it will be from north it will start with north or it will start with south it will end in east or it will end in west starts with north or south I will write down north or south north or south and it will end in what either east or west and these angles will be from 0 to 90 degree okay for example here for example here if I say if I say that you know we have this north south east west okay north south east west and suppose we have a line like this okay a line like this suppose this is what 60 degree this is what 60 degree yes so now I can say I'll start with north and will go towards east so I can say to cover this angle I'm starting with north going towards east so this is what 60 degree from north 60 and then east this is the way we represent what your quadrant bearing understood yes very good now Suppose we have another line. We have another line. Suppose we have a line like this. Yes. And suppose this angle is 170 degree. Can you write down the quadrant bearing for this? Can you write down the quadrant bearing for this? Let me see how many people are able to write down the quadrant bearing for this. Please write down the quadrant bearing for this. What is the quadrant bearing for this line? Please tell me what is the quadrant bearing for this line? Write down the whole expression. Write down the whole expression, okay? Yes, it is south, 10, east. As I told, we'll always south with the south or north. Why we didn't start? Why I'm not writing north 170 east? This is wrong because the angle is becoming more than 90 degree, right? So what I will do? From south, I am going like this, and this is 10 degree, right? So this is south, 10, east. Understood? Very good. So this is how we represent what? The quadrant bearing. I gave a glimpse of it. Now based on that, and also the concept of what? The bearings, let us solve some more questions. Now the next question you see, well, before going to the next question, I want to tell something else, okay? One more point I also want to mention here. What is that point? We have in bearing another two types of bearing. That is what? That is your 
true bearing and your magnetic bearing. You might have heard about this, but still I will explain to you. The concept of what? True bearing, okay, and the concept of what? Your magnetic bearing. Concept of magnetic bearing. Now, when I say bearing or angle, bearing means what? Angle. The angle is always with respect to a reference line or direction, right? When I say angle is this much, then the angle has to be with something, right? When I say this much angle with the horizontal or this much angle with the vertical, right? That means we are having a reference direction, right? When the reference direction is the true meridian. Now, what is a true meridian? The true meridian, the true meridian is a direction connecting what? The geographical north and the geographical south of earth, right? Geographical north is what? The north pole of earth, right? The north pole of earth, right? So it's geographical north and geographical south. That is what? If you connect this line, that is what? The true meridian. It's the true meridian. I will draw a little enlarged diagram. The geographical north and geographical south. So this is what? Your true meridian. This is what? The true meridian. Now, we know that the earth behaves as a big magnet, right? The earth behaves as a big magnet. And the south of that particular magnet is near to what tell me it is near to north or near to south tell me the south of the south of the magnetic earth or I can say the magnet which represents the earth that lies near to what the geographical north or geographical south tell me please write in the comment section if you know the answer I will draw it suppose we have this earth okay suppose we have the earth okay and this is the geographical north and geographical south. And earth is what can be imagined as a big magnet like this, right? So the south of that magnet is near the geographical north. And the north of that magnet is near the geographical south, right? And if I join it, you see this is your what? This is your true meridian. If you join these two lines, it is what? The magnetic meridian so this i will call it as what magnetic meridian okay so this will be what magnetic meridian this is what the magnetic south and this is what the magnetic north yes now you see that the true meridian and the magnetic meridian the true meridian and the magnetic meridian are not the same line they are different lines right and now tell me which one will change with time the true meridian or the magnetic meridian which one will change with time okay which one changes with time it changes with the um, can say seasons or i can say over a large period of time or changes in the earth core so which one changes the magnetic meridian or the true meridian yes the magnetic meridian will change because it depends on the earth core Yes, and that is subjected to many changes with the rotations, revolutions of Earth, okay, in its own orbit around the Sun, right? So, we'll not go into variation today, okay? But yes, the magnetic meridian changes. The magnetic meridian changes. Now, the angle between the angle between the magnetic meridian and the two meridian is known as what? The declination. It's known as what? The declination. So, I can say the angle between the angle between TM, true meridian, okay, true meridian and MM, magnetic meridian is known as what? It is known as the, is called declination, declination what? Declination, yes, yes, declination. Now you see if the magnetic meridian is towards the west of the true meridian, you can see here it is towards the west, right? So, I will call this as what? Declination in west. I will call this as what? Declination in west. Now, since the magnetic meridian changes, there is a possibility what? That I might have the true meridian like this and the magnetic meridian like this. Yes. In this case, what is happening? The magnetic meridian is towards the east of true meridian, right? You see, this is the true meridian and this is the magnetic meridian. Now, the magnetic meridian is towards the east, okay? towards the east. 
so here now this particular angle I will call as what declination in what east understood what is declination in east and what is declination in west right it is whether the magnetic meridian is what it is towards the west or towards the east of the true meridian okay now based on this we have the concept of what true bearing and magnetic bearing let us see this suppose we have we'll draw a little large diagram a little large diagram we'll draw, okay suppose we have this true meridian is the true meridian okay it is looking straight no it's not looking straight let me make it straight huh? <laughs> i forgot to bring my scale okay so i came from home the scale was lying so i just saw the scale i thought that i put in the bag but i have not put in the bag so just bear with me this is the true meridian and this is the magnetic meridian now suppose we have a line suppose we have a line a b like this suppose we have a line a b like this a b what will be the true bearing the true bearing will be with respect to what true meridian so i can say this angle this will be what this will be your true bearing okay with respect to the true meridian now what will be what will be the magnetic bearing the magnetic bearing will be with respect to the magnetic meridian so this will be what this will be your magnetic bearing understood true bearing tb means what true bearing true bearing is with respect to the true meridian and the magnetic bearing is with respect to what the magnetic meridian yes now what is this tell me what is this what is this tell me what is this ladies and gentlemen what is this ladies and gentlemen what is this please tell me i'll just see the comments okay here also comments are coming but i want to see in the mobile also how it is looking it is declination right it is declination and declination is in east declination is in east so now you can see from the diagram only you can see that the magnetic bearing see from diagram only can i say the true bearing is equal to what magnetic bearing plus declination in east so when this is a simple formula now is there any need to remember this formula from the diagram only it is very clear right yes from the diagram only it is clear that the true bearing will be equal to the magnetic bearing plus the declination in east when the declination is in east yes you see from the diagram true bearing magnetic bearing easy easy right now this was about when the declination is in east if the declination is in west what will happen let us see so this is your true meridian okay and this is your magnetic meridian so many students might be enjoying today's surveying class i am taking surveying after a long time right <laughs> but you can see that the touch is still there right touch is still there okay so therefore my name is satyajit sahu i might not have introduced myself I have done my B.Tech and M.Tech from both from I.D. Kharagpur and I teach all the civil engineering subjects. So I can teach all the subjects with the equal efficiency. <laughs> yes. Okay. So next, next suppose we have a line like this. Yes, same line suppose I'm A.B. So you can see that this is your true bearing. This is your true bearing, and this is your magnetic bearing, right? Yes. in this case you can see that if this is the declination if this is the declination the d i will write down this declination is in what it is in your west it is in your west and you can clearly see that here the true bearing will be equal to the magnetic bearing minus what the declination in west so from here we get two important formulas which they can ask in the examination so if they give magnetic bearing and they're asking what true bearing so first of all you have to see the declination is in west or east if it is in west then subtract it subtract it okay if it is in the 
east then add it so if it is in the west subtract it if it is in the east then add it so all of you understood these two formulas right all of you understood these two formulas yes or no all of you understood these two formulas of finding the true bearing from the magnetic bearing now here all bearings are in all bearings are in WCB in whole circle bearing system all are in WCB the whole circle bearing system okay so if they give the question in QB then convert into WCB and solve the question let us solve some questions then now let us solve some questions so the first question is the magnetic bearing of a line is given declination is given the true bearing is asked please solve this easy question straightforward easy question please solve this question then we will go to the next question Please solve this easy question. What is the answer to this? Please see the options and answer me which one is the correct answer for this. Please solve easy question. I will see on mobile today how it is looking. Great, it is looking good in mobile also. But why I am not looking? Okay, now I, I also came. Okay, I am looking really bright. <laughs> okay. Okay, what's the answer? C. Hmm, very good. You see, your magnetic bearing is given 120 degree 15 minutes. And declination is given what? 6 degree 30 minutes and that is in west. So whenever they give in west, subtract to get the true bearing. So true bearing will be equal to 120 degree 15 minutes minus 6 degree 30 minutes. Because I have to subtract, right? So this will give me how much? 116 degree 45 minutes. So right answer is C. Very good. Figure please. Okay. Figure please. See for every diagram, if we draw figure, then it will take time. But still I will draw a figure for you. Okay, this is true meridian, okay, true meridian, this is your magnetic meridian because it is in the west, it is in the west, 6 degree and 30 minutes to the west. Now a particular line, suppose it's having how much, 123 degree, 15 minutes magnetic bearing. Suppose this is the line, it can, can be anything like this, suppose, like this, and this is how much, this is? 123 degree 15 minutes okay so now this is the magnetic bearing so what be true bearing this will be true bearing how will get the true bearing you can see that you have to subtract 6 degree 30 minutes you will get how much 116 degree 45 minutes okay so yes you can solve from the figure also if you understand the basic concept which I have explained before but if you want to use the formula also you can use magnetic bearing minus declination in west if it is given in west okay let us solve another question this question i will expect you to solve okay you see the magnetic bearing of the line is given in what it is given in quadrant bearing oh the class is also given three degree five minutes not 55 minutes okay they have asked the true bearing they have asked what the true bearing now in such cases what you do you convert this into wcb okay convert this to wcb then find out the true bearing in terms of whole circle only and then again convert back to QP. Okay. So tell me what will be this angle in WCB? Tell me what will be this angle? 43 degree 412. Yes, you can see. Tell me. I'll draw big diagrams for surveying. Yeah, big, not chut chut. I will not draw small, small. Huh? I will draw big diagrams. So that it is clear, right? So all of you are happy with the big diagrams? All of you are happy with the big diagrams? Or I make it more bigger? Yes. You see, this is 43 degree. 12 minutes yes so now 
I will take this angle na whole circle. Whole circle I will take from this. This is how much? This will be 180 minus 43 degree 12 minutes. How much I am getting? As Saurabh Sri has told, it is what? 136 degree and 48 minutes. So first you do this. First you do this. Okay, very good students. 136 degree 48 minutes. Then declination is in west. So I will subtract it. Minus 3 degree 5 minutes. Subtract it to get what? The true bearing. This is the magnetic bearing, right? Magnetic bearing. So true bearing will be this. Because given in west, this is how much? I can say 133 degree and 43 minutes. This is my true bearing. Okay. Now I got the true bearing, but it is in whole circle. I have to convert into what? I have to convert this whole circle into what? Quadrant. I have to convert this whole circle into quadrant. So this is how much? This I can say is 133 degree 43 minute. So in quadrant it will be how much? In quadrant it will be, you can see south to east. So south east and you can see what? This will be 180 minus 133 degree and 43 minute. It is what? 46 degree 17 minutes. So easily you are able to solve this question. Now somebody might say that why are you solving easy questions? They are not easy. They will be asked in the examination one mark questions, right? They are not easy, okay? Don't ignore easy subjects. Now some students, some people tell that, you know, before the examination, okay, that leave this subject, leave this subject, leave structural analysis, okay? Leave, you know, steel. But I will not tell that you leave surveying or leave steel or leave hydrology. Don't leave any topic, okay? Don't leave any subject, okay? You can leave some extra topics, but don't leave any subject. Even surveying is also important. See, in your civil engineering, there are 12 subjects. And from 12 subjects, they'll be asking you 72 marks, right? So, many of the subjects will be 3-3 three, three marks, right? So, which subject you will leave? If you start leaving all the subjects, 3 mark, 3 mark, 3 mark, 3 mark, that is like leaving 30 marks, right? Don't leave any subject, okay? If you are trying to get a high score in civil engineering last year, more than 148 students scored above 80. So think just once that if you leave structural analysis or steel or surveying, tell me, can you score good marks in the examination? Is that a good strategy? No, that will be foolishness. That will be utter foolishness to leave any subjects. So here on Baidu's exam prep, not only we are focusing on the major subjects like geotech and environment and you know uh, transportation, but it is also important that we cover the small topics also to get the maximum marks. It's very important. Okay. Now the next question. Okay. Okay. Now you, this question you solve more for me. Okay. This question you solve for me. Okay. I'm giving you some time. Please solve this question for me. Do this apply the same methodology and solve? The methodology which I told to you. No problem, no problem, no problem, no issues. Okay, A, mm. Mm. no, 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 no. Please see the question carefully. It is southwest. It is southwest. It is southwest. Mm. Others, why are you taking so much of time? And declination is in east, so you have to add it. So you have to add it. See, Fahim, you also solved correctly, but you did a small mistake. Did a small mistake. Anu is writing C. Yes, 
that is the right answer very good anu okay so you see this is what you see 47 degree and 33 minutes south west right south west so i can say the whole circle will be how much the whole circle will be equal to 180 plus this that is how much 227 degree 33 minutes now the declination is given to us and this is east right uh, structure analysis ke class lagegi but nowadays is surveying class so stay tuned in the channel subscribe to the channel and also in the telegram group subscribe to telegram group the link is given in the comment section so whenever there will be structures class the notification will be coming to you okay so daily there you can see daily schedule of classes so today class is on what on serving so in future we will class have class on other subjects also right okay and in structure analysis many classes are already conducted you can search in the uh, channel okay now so now this is your magnetic bearing yes now true bearing will be equal to the magnetic bearing here we will add here we will add because the declination given in what it is east 4 degree 45 minutes so I'm, how much i'm getting this i'm getting 232 degree and then 18 minutes right yes so i'll erase this so now i can say that your true bearing is how much it is it is 232 degree 18 minutes so if i express in your quadrant i'll this will be this angle and this angle will be how much 232 minus what 18 so this is how much 52 degree 18 minutes but be little careful okay it is what southwest it is not southeast it is what southwest so this is the right answer so by this time many of you are now comfortable in solving this type of questions right the first type of questions we discussed in compass surveying was what finding the included angle and many of you understood how to solve those questions and now also you understood how to solve the questions on declination okay declination true bearing magnetic bearing declination that also you understood okay now before going to okay thank you for conducting classes in english i will be taking classes 99.99% uh, in english some hindi words i might use like uh, Chalo and uh, ho gaya like this okay so most of the things will be in english only <laughs> so i'll be conducting all the classes in english okay so because uh, the exam in the gate examination will be in english so many students uh, requested me that sir please take in english only so thank you very much okay now before going to the next topic okay uh, what i want to tell there's something known as what local attraction something known as what local attraction now There might be some local magnetic field, okay. Now all this bearing you are taking from where? All these bearing measurements you are taking from compass. And the compass is actually a magnet, right? So what happens if you have some local magnetic field, then the magnetic bearing readings might be erroneous, right? There might be some error in the readings if there is some local magnetic field, okay? There is a local magnetic field. And that error is known as what? Local attraction error known as what local attraction error and we have to apply local attraction correction so that we get the correct readings okay suppose i am telling suppose i am telling that we know two places there are suppose b and c two places are there okay and there is no local attraction error no local attraction error now how to detect that there is no local attraction error in these two places how to detect very easy you take the four bearing you take what the four bearing from b to c suppose the four bearing from b to c this is the four bearing yes four bearing of b to c is suppose your 120 degree it is what the four bearing of bc now tell me if this is the four bearing of bc what should be what should be the back bearing of BC. What should be the back bearing of BC? Tell me. If this is the four bearing of BC, then what will be the back bearing of BC? Tell me. What should be the back bearing of BC? Now 
Yeah, it should be 300. It should be 300. Means how much? Your 120 plus 180. 120 plus 180. Right? Very good. So this is your 300. This is your 300. It is the actual one, right? So if you measure it, if you measure it and you are getting exactly 300, that means your B and C are free of local attraction error. So how to detect there is no local attraction error? The check is what? Difference between, check is what? Difference between, difference between your forebearing and backbearing should be 180. If the difference between forebearing and backbearing is 180, then that means what? No local attraction error. Understood everyone? How to check? Yes, very good. Now suppose there is a line AB. Line AB is there. Line AB is there. Okay. Now, suppose this back, this will be back bearing of AB, right? This is A. So this will be back bearing of AB. Suppose back bearing of AB is your 230 degree. It is what? 230 degree. It is back bearing of AB, right? It is 230 degree. Okay. Then you took reading on A. And this you took, what? Reading how much? This you took the forebearing of AB. The forebearing of AB. Okay. Forebearing of AB. Is how much? Suppose you took 48 degree. Tell me, is there local attraction error at A or not? Tell me, is there local attraction error at A or not? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. How? You see, B and C are free of local attraction. That means any reading taken in, any reading taken in A, B and C are correct. So your backbearing of, your backbearing of AB is taken at B, right? And this is how much? This is 230. This is 230. And this is correct one, right? Because it is taken at B and B is free of local attraction that we have checked. That means it is correct. So if this is correct, if this is correct, the forbearing of AB should have been how much? 50 degree, na? Yes. 230 minus 50, that is what? Your 230 minus 180 is what? 50 degree. So this is what? This is the correct value. This is the correct value or I can say this should be the actual value, right? This should be the actual value. This should be the actual value. But you got this as what? the measured value right you got this as what the measured value so you can see that there is error now tell me the error is positive or negative here tell me the error is positive or negative tell me the error is obviously two degrees but the error is positive or negative tell me it is two degree positive or two degree negative tell me it is two degree positive or two degree negative tell me It is 2 degree negative because error is always, remember, error is always measured minus actual. Remember, error is always measured minus actual. Remember that, okay? Actually, it should be 50. We are getting 48. That means the local attraction error is how much? Minus 2 degree. This is your local attraction error. local attraction error. Now suppose there is another line. Error at A, right? At A. Suppose there is another line, okay? There is another line like this, okay? There is another line like this. Suppose A, D. Now you measured the bearing here, okay? Measured this bearing and this you are getting as 113 degree. This is what? The forebearing of AD. Now tell me this forebearing of AD that is 113 degree. It is the correct value or wrong value? Tell me. Is it correct value or wrong value? 
All these are magnetic bearings only. All these are magnetic bearings. Therefore, local attraction error will come into picture. Now tell me, this 113 degree is correct one or wrong one? It is wrong one because it is taken at A. It is taken at A and A is having local attraction error. Yes. So tell me what should be the correct? This is the wrong one. What is the correct? Correct forbearing of AD. Tell me. Who will tell me? What is the correct forbearing of AD? Tell me. What is the correct forbearing of AD? Nikki is telling 115. Hmm. It is 115 or 111. Come on, choose. 115 or 111? 115 or 111? Yes, it is 115. You see, the error is negative. So, correction will be positive. Na? So, local attraction. Local attraction correction will be positive. And that will be equal to plus 2 degree. Understood? The error is negative. So, the correction will be positive. So the measured value is 113, so you have to correct by adding 2 degree. Understood? So this is the concept of local attraction. Let us solve some questions, okay? This is the concept of local attraction. Hope you have understood. First, how we check it is free from local attraction error or not. If the difference between the forbearing and backbearing is what? It's 180 degree. No error, okay? If not, then error. Let us solve one question, okay? Okay, so it is given that the magnetic bearing of a line, okay, is south 50 degree, okay, 30 minutes. Sometimes they can express in this way also, 30 minutes east. Very good. The magnetic declination is 6 degree west, okay. You have to find out the true bearing of the line if local attraction of 2 degree means what? Positive error is there, yes. 2 degree is also detected. So what's the process? I will tell you. The magnetic bearing given is the wrong one, right? Because there is local attraction error. So this is the wrong one, okay? So first of all, what you will find out? You will find out the magnetic bearing corrected one, right? You will find out the magnetic bearing corrected one. And then you will do the declination thing. Means either you will add it or subtract it to get what? the true bearing. So this is the process. So use this process and solve the question. And first of all, convert this into what? Into whole circle, right? And then do whole the business and finally you can convert back to whole circle. So please solve this question. It's a good question framed by me. So it is not a previous question. These questions are framed by me so that all the important concepts are covered for you. So please solve this question and tell me. Hope you are all enjoying this session on your basic concepts on your compass surveying is also getting cleared. Now, first of all, to understand that these basic concepts only help you in getting a good rank in examination, okay? So, these basic concepts are very important for your upcoming examination. And these basic concepts will not only be useful in your gate examination, but in your ESE also, in your uh, SSE also, in any examinations. Okay. Chalo, solve and tell me. By that time, I will also solve. East. Okay. So I have got many slides in my PPT. Okay. You see here there was no space. So what I did, I have kept some space for you so that you know we will have enough space so that the answer is explained nicely. Otherwise, what would have happened? I would have done here something, something, here something, here something. Then you would have looked what? Clumsy, right? So therefore, do not look clumsy. I am solving here. Okay, options are there. You please tell the right answer. D, somebody solve the question also. Okay. No, how it is D? None of these. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You see, this is the magnetic bearing. It is the wrong one. So, correction is how much? You see, error is 2 degree. So, correction will be what? Correction will be minus 2 degree. So, 
the corrected value will be 127 degree 30 minutes. Yes, this is what the corrected magnetic bearing. Now the declination is in east, uh, west, it is in west. So true bearing will be equal to the corrected value, the corrected value, corrected magnetic bearing minus what? 6 degree west. So it is what? 121 degree 30 minutes. This is what? The true bearing. This is what a true bearing. So I can say 121 30. 121 30. 121 degree 30 minutes. So it will be what? It will be your south and then 58 degree 30 minutes east. So this is the right answer. So why others were taking so much of time? Hmm? Are the concepts not clear? Or okay, it's okay. Means you are solving for the first time. So it is taking some time. That is perfectly fine. Right? Okay. Okay. So is this question clear to everybody? Any doubts? Any doubts, please ask me. Then I'll move to the next question. Okay. I'll wait for your doubts. Any doubts in this question? Or everything is clear for you? Okay. Everything is clear for you. Okay. So it's very important that we solve such kind of questions. You see, these questions are specially designed, okay, by expert faculties like me, okay, so that you get a grasp of all the important concepts, okay. The next thing, okay, so many things are written, okay, so many things are written, I'll explain this for you, okay. Now, we know the concept, we know the concept what, that the magnetic meridian changes, true meridian don't change, right, it is constant. The true meridian is not changing because you see the geographical north and geographical south will be same after 100 years also, right? So what is changing is the magnetic meridian. Since the magnetic meridian is changing, so magnetic bearing of a line will always change. But true bearing will never change. So using this concept, some questions are asked. Let us solve this. So it is written that in 1976, before all of us were born, and uh, that time, the magnetic bearing of a line is how much? Magnetic bearing is 123 degree and 23 minutes. Now, there is a local attraction error of how much? 2 degree and 34 minutes. If this is the error, that means what? That means this is the wrong one. This is the wrong reading. Tell me the corrected reading. Tell me. What will be the corrected magnetic bearing? Tell me then. What is the corrected magnetic bearing? Please mention in the comment section. Please mention in the comment section the corrected magnetic bearing. Please tell me in the comment section. I'll see comments from here also. One twenty degree forty nine minutes. Yes, this is the error. Correction will be what? Negative. Correction will be negative, right? So subtract two degree thirty four. I am getting how much? One twenty degree forty nine minutes. Yes. Subtract this much. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now, here is a very interesting statement. Now from this line, from this line, can you tell me what is declination? It is east or west? <laughs> tell me from this line, what is the declination amount and it is east or west? <laughs> Read the line carefully and tell me is the declination east or west? Please tell me. Very good Vivek, um, but that is the wrong answer. <laughs> See what is written here? It is written that the true meridian at the place was 2 degree east of magnetic meridian. That means, that means what? If this is the magnetic meridian, the true meridian is 2 degree east. Right? Understood? It is written the true meridian is 2 degree east of magnetic meridian. Or I can say the reverse, na? I can say that the magnetic meridian is, the magnetic meridian is 2 degree west of your true meridian. Understood this concept? Yes. So sometimes they might confuse in the, 
question paper like this. But if you are thorough with the diagram, then you will not get confused. You will not get confused. Yes. So here I can say is, this is how much? This is your 3 degree, sorry, how much? 2 degree and this is what? West. Understood why the definition is 2 degree west everyone? Yes, because it is written the true meridian is 2 degree east. So magnetic meridian will be 2 degree west of your true meridian. Yes. So now very good. So now if I ask you to find out the true bearing in 1976, 1976, then I can say it will be magnetic meridian, the corrected one. And since it is west, so I will subtract minus 2 degree. Minus 2 degree. Getting me how much? I am getting a value of 100. Some problem is there. No problem. 129 degree, 118 degree and then 49 minutes. So this is the true bearing in 1976. Now they are asking the magnetic meridian of the same line in 2019 when the declination is 4 degree west. Let us go to what? Let us go to your 2019. So 2019, everything would have changed, but true bearing will not change. So true bearing remained what? 118 degree 49 minutes. You see the magnetic, the declination has changed what? 4 degree west. So now this will be equal to magnetic bearing plus declination, right? Because it is 4 degree west, right? So it is not plus, plus minus, sorry, minus. Yes, because when the declination is in west, I do what? The true bearing is equal to magnetic bearing minus this. So this is a very easy concept that whenever they give a question like this, we are comparing one year, other year, you should remember that only one thing is constant. That is what? True bearing will be constant. You see, 1976, okay, and your 2019, the true bearing is same, okay? And then since 19 also, the declination was 4 degree west and therefore this formula I wrote. Magnetic bearing minus west. So from here, magnetic bearing is what? It is equal to 118 degree 49 minutes plus 4, that is 122 degree and 49 minutes. So the answer is what? The answer is C. Understood everyone this particular question? Now this question is very hit in the examination. Okay. Now in the examination, you know, they don't give this local attraction error. Okay. So I included the local attraction error also in this particular question. Okay. Very nice. Let us solve another question. Okay. So read this question. Okay. Read this question. So this is a very good question, you know, statement, multiple statement. Okay. This is what? Your multiple statement. Okay. So this question you will solve as homework. This question you will solve as what? Homework. Okay. Read the question carefully and this question you will solve as what? Homework question. Understood? Homework. Okay. So we have this thing of what? Giving you homework for the examination. Yes, means not examination, class. See, only studying in the class and I solve the questions, you don't practice, then what will happen? I will clear the exam. Okay. I have anyhow cleared the exam. Okay. <laughs> but it is your examination. So along with question solving, it is your responsibility that you do your homework also. This is the homework number one. Okay. Please write in the comment section after solving the homework. Okay. Next is what? This is the homework only. This is the homework number two. This is the homework number two. Very good. This is the homework number two. Next thing. Yes. And this question I will solve for you. This question I will solve for you. Okay. You can see this question, very beautiful question. So two homeworks, everybody understood? That is your, your responsibility. Now this question I will solve for you. Now you can see that there are different lines given and their forbearing and back bearings are given. Okay, their forbearing and back bearings are given. Now tell me, now tell me, now tell me, which points are free of local attraction? Please tell me. By seeing the question, tell me which points are free of local attraction or where there is no local attraction error. What check I gave? The check I gave was, this is the same question only, the check I gave was that the difference between the forbearing and backbearing should be 180. And tell me which are correct. Which 
stations or we can say points have no local attraction error please tell me no local don't read the no don't read this one two three four five whatever i'm asking answer that no local attraction error tell me which points no local attraction error c and d hmm c and d hmm yes you can see that find out the differences if you see this difference this is not 180 now you see the difference is not 180 it is 75 and 5 degree that is 254 and 20 degree if you take the difference is not 180 yes this also you see difference is not 180 this also a difference is not 180 yes no this is 180 this is not 180 this is not 180 yes you can see that 345 degree 35 minutes 165 degree 35 minutes exactly you're getting how much 180 degree yes so like this in the given question you can detect that which stations are free of local attraction so c and d are free c and d are free yes and since c and d are free the readings taken from there are correct so i can say that in this particular in diagram i can say that this is correct this is also correct because these two readings are taken from where from c and d now you see the forbearing of d e is also taken from d na? and since d is free so this reading is also correct right and the back bearing of bc is taken from where it is taken from c na? so this reading is also correct this reading is also correct understood everyone yes again i will say since here the difference of forbearing and back bearing is 180 so cd are free of local attraction error now since the back bearing of bc will be taken from c that is correct and the forbearing of de will be taken from d that is also correct yes very good so if these two are correct yes tell me what will be this reading tell me then okay see if this is correct one if this is the correct one you see this is the correct one this is the correct one then what ideally should be the back bearing of de can you tell me can you tell me tell me what is the corrected value tell me what will be the corrected value of the back bearing of de tell me yes it should be 44 degree 15 minutes how 224 degree 15 minutes minus 180 so the corrected value should be the corrected value should be how much it should be 44 i write down in red huh? okay here i can write in red because if the background is white so it will look good so 44 degree and then 50 minutes now tell me what will be the corrected value what will be the corrected value of this okay because if this is 296 degree 35 minutes what will be the corrected value of this tell me because 296 35 is correct that means the other one is wrong therefore difference is not 180 so we'll make it 180 how will make 180 296 35 degree minus 180 so it is coming how much it is coming 116 degree 35 minutes very good 116 degree and 35 minutes everybody understood okay let us see the options you see first option first statement given is d and e are free of local attraction is it true no e is not free of local attraction d is only free so this is wrong the corrected bearing of line bc is 116 degree 30 minutes yes it's correct the corrected bearing of line bc is 116 degree 35 minutes it's correct yes now next statement written is the station a has a local attraction error of 30 minutes we'll see to that don't worry we'll see to that now 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 tell me what is the can you tell me what is the local attraction error what is the local attraction error error at e 
What is the local attraction error at E? Can you tell me what is the answer? What is the local attraction error at E? Can you tell me? What is the local attraction error at E? Simple Baba, measured minus, measured minus actual, yes, yes, measured was how much, 44 degree 5 and actual is how much, 44 degree 50, so it is minus 45 minutes, yes, so local attraction error at E is 45 minutes, understood, so this is also correct. Now what about E? How to check about E? Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. Okay. Now what will be the local attraction local attraction correction at E? The local attraction will be plus 45 minutes, right? Yes. Now you see this reading 304 degree 50 minutes is taken where? It is taken from E, which is what? Aranus. So I'll correct it. How I'll correct? By adding 45 minutes. So it will become what? 305 degree and then 35 minutes. Okay. 305 degree, 35 minutes. It's not looking good. I will just change it. Okay. Three and then green now. 305 degree, 35 minutes. Everybody understood this? I am solving it slow because so that it enters your brain nicely. Yes? Correct? Yes, correct. Now, if this is correct, this is wrong because the difference is not 180. So what I will do? I will correct it by subtracting 180. So how much I am getting here? I will be getting 125 degree 35 minutes. Right? 125 degree 35 minutes. Right? This is the I can say the corrected corrected back bearing of EA. That is how much? 125 degree 35 minutes. Now you see the back bearing of EA is actually what? Forbearing of A. Na? Yes. The back bearing of EA is the forbearing of A. You see? Suppose I am telling here I will draw AE. Okay, suppose this angle is 125 degree 35 minutes. So this is the forbearing of A. So what will be the back bearing of sorry sorry? Yes, I will draw here like this. A no? Yes. This is the forbearing of A, right? Yes. This is the forbearing of A. Now, what is the back bearing of EA? The back bearing of EA is this one only, right? Yes. Understood everyone this thing? Everyone understood this? Okay. Because the back bearing of EA will be taken from A towards E. Yes. And the forbearing of A will be taken at A towards E. Same thing, na? Yes. Okay. So, now this option you see. Corrected bearing of AE is 125 degree 55. It is wrong because the corrected bearing, when I say bearing, I told default that is what? Forbearing. So the corrected forbearing of AE is 125 degree 35 minutes. Everybody understood this or not? Understood? Okay. Now, what is the local attraction error A then? What is the local attraction error? If I ask you, what is the local attraction error at A? What will be your answer? Local attraction error at A, tell me. What is the answer? Local attraction error at A? That is the answer. It is how much? Tell me. Again, this is what? Measured minus the actual. So the measured one is how much? It is 125 degree 5. And the actual one is 125 degree 35. So it is what? Minus 30 minute. So you see, it is written station A has local attraction of 30 minutes. 
is wrong. It is minus 30 minutes. So I can say only 2 and 5 are correct. Yes. So 2 and 5. Understood this beautiful question? So many of you might have enjoyed this question where we actually solved many questions. So I'll again repeat this question. First of all, we checked that which stations are free of local attraction. How? By checking the difference is 180 or not. I got this. So this is correct. This is correct. C and D are free. So any reading taken from C and D are correct. So the back bearing of BC will be taken from C. So correct. The forebearing of DE will be taken from D. So correct. Okay. So this is correct. That means what? This is wrong. This is wrong. How I found out the correct one? By subtracting or adding 180. So here I got 116 degree. 35. Here I got your 44 degree and 50. Yes. And then from here I got that the local attraction error at E is minus 45. Yes, at E is minus 45. So correction is how much? Correction is plus 45. So this became what? This became your 305 degree 35. Okay. And from here, I corrected this value also. Yes. And this value, how much I got? By subtracting 180, I got 125 degree 35 minutes. And from here, I got the local attraction error at A is how much? Minus 30. Yes. Now, can you tell me what will be the corrected correct reading of this? Tell me. What will the correct reading of this? How to find out correct reading on this? Very easy. Very easy. Or you can find out for this. You see, the local attraction error at A is how much? Minus 30. So correction will be how much? Plus 30, right? See, local attraction error at A is minus 30. So the correction will be plus 30, right? So correction will be plus 30. So this will become how much? This will become your value will be 75 degree 35 minutes and this will be how much this will be your just add 180 255 degree and then what 35 minutes now tell me just for you know understanding can you give me the local attraction error at b come on tell me local attraction error at b let me see who will find me and tell me local attraction error at b Local attraction error at B. Tell me. Local attraction error at B. First of all, it's plus or minus. It is actually minus. Minus 1 degree 15. Very good. It is minus 1 degree 15. You can find this in two ways, right? Can find this in two ways. How? You see here this reading, this forbearing of BC, right? The forbearing of BC, right? Measured one is how much? 115 degree 20 minutes. And the actual one is 116 degree 35 minutes. Or you see this back bearing of AB that is also taken from B now. So I can write down what? 254 degree 20 minutes. This is what the measured one and the actual one is 255 degree 35 minutes. So in this manner, you can see that you can find out local attraction error at all the stations. I found out for A, I found out for B, I found out for E, right? There is no one for C and D. There is no error at C and D, right? So if such a question is given, okay, so it is a grand question, I can say. It's a grand question, right? Where there are many concepts we covered, right? We considered many concepts. So if they give a data like this and they will ask you, first of all, what they will ask you? That which stations are free from local attraction? Take the difference. If the difference is 180, then that will be the stations from independent of the local attraction. Then if I ask you the local attraction error at other stations, you can find out. If I ask you the corrected values of forwarding and back wearing in other stations, then also you can solve. Understood this grand question? Thank you very much. That was wonderful uh, talking with all of you. So these two are homework, ladies and gentlemen. Homework 1 and homework 2. I expect that you solve these two questions. Okay. And then tomorrow. Okay. Very good. So tomorrow we'll be studying what? At 11.45 p.m. Not 11.45. 10.45 p.m. 
So ladies and gentlemen, at 10.45 p.m. tomorrow, we will be solving questions from photogrammetry. Okay, photogrammetry. Now tell me students who are preparing for well, HPCL and your SSCJ, tell me, did today's class help you or not? Tell me, today's class on your basics of your compass surveying, did today's class help you or not? Yes or no? For upcoming SSC examination, for the up upcoming well examination and upcoming what? Your HPCL examination. So it is very important to know that, ladies and gentlemen, it is very important to know that gate is the super set of all the examination okay if you are preparing for gate you will be automatically getting prepared for what for sscj for hpcl for you know any kind of psu exams okay so it's very important that you prepare for gate examination because the basic concepts which you study for the gate examination they only form the basis of objectives for your so I expect tomorrow at 10.45, we'll be studying photogrammetry. Many students have doubts in photogrammetry. So we'll see the basic concepts, some basic derivations, and then we'll be solving questions on relief displacement, the overlapping of photographs, and then something, something, okay? Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Please leave some comments, okay? In the comment section, you can write the summary of the lecture. I will be very happy. If you like the lecture, you can also write down some good things about me or about yourself, <laughs> write some good things about nature, <laughs> yes, or about the gate examination, whatever you want to write, write, but also write the homework questions. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Good night.